Resilience is a vital character competency that helps us to deal with life's challenges. It is the process of adapting well to deal with obstacles. This includes our ability to bounce back and even grow from difficult experiences. Resilience is a competency that we can all learn and develop. Building resilience is like building muscle. It takes time, effort and practice, but we can all do it. So, what exactly makes someone resilient? What does it mean to have the character competency of resilience? Resilient people adapt flexibly to hardships, challenges, trauma or other significant stress. Catherine Mzamane, a 45-year-old single mother of two, was desperate. She could no longer afford to keep her children alive and educated in her rural hometown. Catherine knew she had to adapt, that things could not go on in the same way. Catherine used the last resources she had to leave her children with her mother and to travel to her cousins in Cape Town. She knew she had to try and earn a living in a city. At first, Catherine looked after her cousin's children and did all the housework in exchange for a place to sleep and some food. Eventually, a family friend arranged for Catherine to clean some holiday flats three days per week. She still did all her cousin's housework and cooking, but at least she was earning some money. Before long, Catherine had another cleaning job. She could find a room and send some money to her mother and children. Catherine was resilient in that she recognized the challenges facing her and adapted her actions. Resilient people understand the value of strong social networks. Catherine always maintained good relationships with her family, so she knew her cousins would help her when she moved to Cape Town. Whilst living with her cousins, she did everything possible to strengthen their relationship. She worked hard, she went for walks to give them space, she listened to their issues and empathized, and she played and laughed with their children. In return, her cousin supported Catherine and grew to love her even more. Catherine worked hard to make friends when she moved. She looked for people who would be understanding of her situation and who she could trust. She knew she could count on these friends to support her when she was down. Resilient people manage their stress and express their emotions appropriately. Catherine started to take note of the things that made her feel better and worse. She realized that sleeping too long, eating junk food, wasting money and spending time on social media all made her feel worse. Catherine also realized that there were a number of things that made her feel better. These included spending time with her friends, checking in on her goals and noticing the progress she was making, going to church and meditating, talking about her feelings, and finally, helping other people. Resilient people direct their energies towards a meaning or purpose. Catherine had two clear goals that she tried to stay focused on. Her first goal was to provide for her children. Her second goal was to bring her children to live with her. When these goals felt too big, Catherine tried to break them into smaller goals, things she knew she could achieve. She also found purpose and meaning in helping others. Resilient people persevere through challenges, but ask for help when needed. Through most of her hard times, Catherine managed to persevere. But sometimes, Catherine felt overwhelmed. Sometimes she felt as if she was in a dark hole that she could not climb out of. And sometimes, something happened that made her feel like life was too much. When Catherine's mother passed away, her grief was terrible. She felt like she couldn't face life without her mother, and she did not know who would take care of her children. Catherine realized she couldn't deal with this alone. She reached out to everyone for help. Her family arranged the funeral. Her cousins enrolled her kids in a Cape Town school. Her employer gave her a permanent job. Her friend took a lease on a flat big enough to share. And everyone listened and empathized. Catherine Mzamani has excellent resilience. She adapts flexibly to life's challenges. She understands and builds strong social networks. She knows how to manage her stress and express her emotions. She has meaning and purpose in her life. She perseveres through her challenges, but asks for help when things get to be too much.
barutishi ba papala karolo ya botlhokwa go thusha ba ithuti gore ba gone go tsweletsa maikemishetso le khotlelelo yeo ba itlhokago gore ba segwe matwa katlego yeo e tlago ga bonolo e sa le katlego e upya ge ba ithuti ba sonetse go lebeletsana le ditlhotlo pele ba atlega ba ithuta go segwe matwa go segwe matwa go ka tsweletswa ka morago ga nako ge bana ba itloetsa go rarolla mathata ba ba kaone ibile ba ba le bogone bya go segwe matwa ge bana ba gona go fenya ditlhotlo tseo ba lebeletsane go le tsona ba ga boitshepo se se ba thusha gore ba ikwa gore ba ka gona le ge ba lebeletsane le bothata bio bomwe le bio bomwe ka nako yeo e tlago ka ba kala se go botlhokwa kudu gore re thushe ba ithuti go lemoga ditlhotlo go ba maikutlo ao a fapanego go nagana gore na ba ka fenya byang tlhotlo yeo go ba maikutlo ao go ba thega ge ba le gare ba shumana le ditlhotlo tsa bona go ba thusha go keteka dikatlego tsa bona le go ba lemoga gore ba tiile In order for learners to understand resilience, they first need to be taught some of the relevant concepts and vocabulary. Because resilience is quite an abstract concept, teacher na lady has chosen not to teach this term to her learners. Instead, she teaches her learners that challenges can be a good thing and that if they can work through challenges, they will be stronger and smarter. When I teach my learners about the character competency of resilience, I start by teaching them some concepts and vocabulary like challenges, problems, emotions, angry, frustrated, sad, useless, determined, support, stronger, success, etc. Teacher Naledi uses a strategy called PATS to teach vocabulary. P stands for point. If possible, she points at a picture or object to explain the meaning of the word. A stands for act. If possible, she acts out the meaning of the word. T stands for tell. If she cannot point or act, she tells learners the meaning of the word. And S stands for say. Teacher Naledi always ends by saying the word in a sentence to show the meaning. Our first vocabulary word is stronger. This person is strong, but this person is stronger. Let's see how teacher Miriam Malaji teaches concepts and vocabulary to her grade 1 learners using pats. Lentšo la ka la mathomo mo ke maikutlo. Ke nge maikutlo. Aga, maikutlo ga re bolela ka maikutlo. Rena le maikutlo a go fapafapana ke re. Rena le maikutlo a go fapana. O ka hikwa o thabile, o ba o hikwa o kwatile a ke re. And then rena le leng gape ke go befelwa. Ke nge go befelwa. Ke nge go befelwa. O befela ke gona go bontsha gore o kwatile wa ibana. Ke be ke kwatile tsa tsile leng e mothatutsi kolo ya ka ka morao. Ke kwatile a ke re go bontsha gore nge a ka thaba a ke re bontsha go kwata ka sefatlha go sa gago mbontsha o se ka thaba mantlae mbontsha go kwata a ga ke ona ye wa ke re ke ona nge go befelwa a ke re le ntjola ka le leng ke go tsielega ke nge go tsielega go tsielega ke ge o sa tsebe gore o ka diana a ke re ga tselegile o ka goga meriri ya gago a ke re na kwa ba thutse kolo ya ka ka morago ke ke tselegile ke sa tsebe gore nka diang ke sa tsebe gore nka botsa ma mbontsha gore wena go tselegile o ka diang o diang go bontsha gore tselegile o ka diang o ka goga meriri ya gago o ba o ka rosa tsebe gore o ka ite a ga mantla e ke yona yeo ka lebogi Stories can be an excellent way to help learners understand the character competency of resilience. In order to help learners understand resilience, the teacher must share her thoughts aloud as she reads. Let's see how teacher Naledi helps her learners to understand what resilience is 
As she reads the story, Tato repurposes plastic bags. This is the true story of Tato Khatlanye, a brilliant and innovative young South African. She was just 21 years old when she started a company called Repurpose School Bags. Tato's company upcycles old plastic bags to make strong new school bags. Your assignment is to create something innovative with reused plastic, Tato's professor announced as the school bell rang. It is due on Monday. That evening, Tato sat in her bedroom staring at a pile of old grocery bags. What can I do with these? she wondered. Hmm, I see that Tato has a big challenge ahead of her. I wonder how she will work through the problem. As she stared at the old plastic bags, Tato thought about all the children in her own community who used bags like these to carry their school books. She thought about the time her friend Tandy's plastic bag had broken on their walk home, her books spilling out into the dirt. Hmm, maybe Tato is going to solve her problem by helping others. Tato began to cut up the old plastic bags and carefully made layers of plastic by sticking pieces together with duct tape. This way, the bags will be sturdy and waterproof, she thought as she worked. Wow, I see that Tato works very hard to solve her problem. I don't think she will give up until she has a good solution. At the end of the story, Tato has designed a bag that is strong and sturdy. It also has reflective strips so the bag can be seen when children walk on the road. And it has a solar light so that children have a light to study by. What kind of person do you think Tato was? I think she was determined. I think she wanted to solve her problem, but she also wanted to help people. What can you learn from Tato? I learned that if I work really hard, I can solve a problem. I learned that I must try different things to solve a problem. I learned that I must not give up. Let's see how teacher Miriam Malachi uses stories to help her grade 1 learners understand the character competency of resilience. Aga, lo khono re tlo balaka kana gelo ya rena ya Andrew o dira se gwera. A ke re? Kana gelo ya rena ke Andrew o dira se gwera. Andrew o rata gore lo ka annoshi na go yentshi. Mo khodi ntse mmala tsa sekolo, gantshi o be a raloka go le ya mauto a nnoshi go ba. A bogala di swantsho ka papushing ya gagwe le mohuma ga di mahlatsi ka nako ya dijo. Andrew o be a rata morutishi wa gagwe. Morutishi wa gagwe e be e le mogwera wa go loka. E fela matjatjinya na a Andrew thomile go fishagelwa ka ba gwara ba go lekana le yena. O be a no lebelela bana ba bangwe ka papushing ya gagwe ga ba sega e bile ba raloka o ile a bona go gatlhisha go kitima le bana ba bangwe o be a duma go raloka le bona e upja a sa tsebe gore a ka ba gopela bya hmm ya bona gore endru na le botatsa ga ana ba gwera ba megwa ga ya gagwe ke putsisha gore na o tla fenya botata bo bya Matapa meng a o ge a le ka gae Andrew wile a bolela le gaitse di wa gagwe o be a tseba gore Amanda o na le ba gore ba bantshi na o dira bya nse gore o botsisha gaitse di ya gagwe Amanda a tisheditse go lokile sa mathomo o swanetse go tsa sepheto sa gore o nyaka go gore na le ma Amanda a ri yalo a tlhakometse karabo ya gagwe Oh, ya bona gore Andrew go pela gaitse di a go thusho. Ka nako ye nngwe ga rena le bothata ke gopolo ye botse gore re nyake thusho. Se o se ka re thusha gore re khone go latsela go le gato le le latsela go. A ke re? Andrew ile ana gana se ka tshetsho. Le tshatse le latsela go kwa sekolong Andrew ile a lebedishisha yo mongwe le yo mongwe ba rutwana ka papushing gore a ithute bona. 
o ile a nagana gore ba rutwana ba bantshi ka phapushing ya gagwe e ka ba ba gora ba ba botse e fela endru o be ana le le tshogo o ile a tshe sepeto sa gore a thoma go gorena lo di fela ka nako ya go khutsa endru a bona karabo a raga gwele o ile a nagana gore se o se bona gala se gatlhisha ke moka ka nako ya go nwala endru a bona karabo a belana di crayon tsa gagwe le mbali o ile a tshe sepeto sa gore o nyaka gore karabo e ba mogwera wa gagwe manje bua ku a gae endru o ile aya ayo bolela le gaitse di wa gagwe gape ke tsha re sepeto sa gore ke nyaka go ba mogwera wa karabo a botsa gaitse di wa gagwe amanda ke nge sa o ke swanetse go go se dira bya le go lokile ke nagana gore sa o swanetse go go se dira ke go yo bolela le yena amanda a riyalo a tlhokometse karabo ya gagwe Endru wila anagani shisha kalika lo tshoko gore o tla reng go karabo ke a bona gore go buima go endru go dira se gwera go ba bang gore na se se tloga se le bonolo e utsa go endru e tloga e le bothata bjo bogolo thata ke moka kana ko ya go nwala endru wila a le moga gore karabo o thadile se swantsho se se botse sa khudu ya ka metsi ke rata se swantsho sa gago endru a riyalo karabo wile a miemiela ke le boga a riyalo malo ke kwa ke gantsha ka endru o tshere le gato la pele o bonala ana le sebete ka le tshatse le latela go kwa sekolong ke a bona karabo a raga gwele a ya go bolela le yena na nkara ga lwena endru a khopela kara buile a miemiela e a fetola a bile a moragala gwele malo endru o laeditse go ba le sebete e bile ga gwe matwa o tloga a ikemisheditse go dira se manje bua ku a gae Endru wile a ya go bolela le gaitse di wa gagwe gape. Ke ra lokile le kara a bolo gono. A botsa gaitse di wa gagwe a manda ka tshetso. Ha ke tsebe gore re setse re le ba gwera na. Ke tla tse ba byang gore re ba gwera. Go lokile ke nagana gore go no tsana ko. Ga le tswala pele le boledishana e bile le ra loka mmogo. Le tlo ke mo le tlo go le ikwa le le ba gwera. Amanda a riyalo a tlhokometse ke nagana gore Endru o thomile go ikwa a ikgatlisha ena ka noshi o le mogile bothata bya ana le bona e bile o tloga a ikemise ditse go dira se seng ka bothata bjo o tloga ana le sebete le maikemisetse le thutile enge go tswa go Endru o tlotse Endru o na no re a ka fenya mathata yo ke karabo ye botse kamo ubi makaro na le ditlo eh ke karabo ye botse ngwanaka kamo ka ga rena go na le dilo tse ntshi tse dire thata falela e upya go botlhokwa gore re tswala pele re ntse re leka akere re se ke ra gwa matwa akere eh Help learners to develop resilience by building the kind of skills they need for this competency. Some skills may be intentionally taught to the whole class, but some skills will be developed with individual learners as the opportunity arises. Teach learners to do an emotional check-in and to label difficult emotions. At least once or twice a week, I do an emotional check-in. I usually do this when I'm concerned about a learner. I may do this with the whole class, a smaller group, or even an individual. I discussed this process with the class, and together we made guidelines for the check-in. Our guidelines are: This is a safe space. Listen to everyone. Be kind. You don't have to check in. 
Don't ask questions. Ask for help to work out how you are feeling. Today, I am doing a check-in with a reading group. I am worried about a learner in the group. I tell my learners we are doing an emotional check-in. Then they know what to do. I feel like I am not really here. My mom is in hospital and I keep thinking of her. I help my learners to label difficult emotions. I'm sorry to hear that, Khotadzo. I'm sure your mom will be fine. We will pray for her. Let's see if we can name your emotions. First, I think you are worried. Then, if you feel like your mind is somewhere else, we call that distracted. Yes, Khotato is feeling worried and distracted. Distracted means that his mind is on something else. It is important to help learners to manage and overcome their emotions. This is part of building resilience. This is usually done one-on-one -on -one, to help a learner who is clearly in an emotional state and is therefore not able to function. You may need to help an overly emotional learner to calm down by sending them to a calm corner or by doing a breathing or mindfulness exercise with them. Work through a process with the learner. Tell the learner that it is okay to feel what they are feeling. Allow the learner a few minutes to feel their feelings. Help the learner to identify and name their feelings. Let them know if their actions were understandable or unacceptable. Then, ask them how they are going to work through this. Let's see how teacher Miriam Malaji helps her grade 1 learners to build resilience by managing and overcoming emotions. <laughs> It is important to help your learners to build their confidence. In terms of developing resilience, your learners' confidence can be built by helping them set and achieve a manageable goal. It can also be built by asking learners to help others. Teacher Naledi does this with learners who clearly do not have the confidence or self-esteem to tackle bigger goals. Lisedi, please can you help me make a poster for Spring Day? Here is some cardboard and some colours. Look, I have already written Happy Spring Day. As Lisedi makes the poster, teacher Naledi offers some guidance and encouragement so that the poster will be a success. When teacher Naledi displays the poster, she praises and acknowledges Lisedi's hard work and success. This clearly gives Lisedi a confidence boost. 
The next time teacher Naledi notices Lissedi looking hesitant about a task, she reminds her of her success in making the poster all on her own. I also help to build my learners' confidence by getting them to help other learners. Again, I make sure that the tasks are manageable. Once they succeed, they have a real sense of pride and accomplishment. To build a culture of resilience, I try to use all of these strategies. I teach my learners the concepts and vocabulary they need. I use stories to help my learners understand the character competency of resilience. I build skills to help my learners develop resilience, including doing emotional check-ins, helping learners to label difficult emotions, helping learners to manage and overcome difficult emotions, building learners' confidence. I also do these things consistently, not just once in a while. I also encourage my learners to be resilient by modeling resilience for them. I constantly say things like, at first I struggled to read, but I practiced every day until I improved. Hmm, I'm trying to get fit, but it is really hard. Do you think I should give up? I want you to be able to write your own stories. I know this is a challenge, but we are not going to give up. Batswadi ba go bana go lepela yelo e kgolo. Ba tloga ba e ba le bothata bya go thusha bana ba bona go se gwe mato. Se se dirwa ke gore a ba gone go lebelela bana ba bona ba itemogela go se be mme o ba ene go bona le go se iketle. Ba nyaka go tlosha di chitisho ka moka le mathata maphelong a bana ba bona. Go botlhokwa go lemosha batswadi gore ba kwishishe gore bana ba bona ba ithuta dithuto tsa botlhokwa ge ba fenya mathata go ba maikutlo a boima. Ba tswadi ba sone tshe go tlogela bana gore ba rarolle mathata a mangwe ka bo bona. Ba ka thusha ka tsweletso ya mabogone a go rarolla mathata ka go botshisha dipotshisho tsa go swana le na o ikwa byang. Na o na gana gore botata ke eng. Na o ka shumana le se o byang. Na o ka itukishe tsa se o byang. Go botlhokwa gore ba tswadi ba se ke ba afa bana dikarabo ka moka. Gape ba sone tshe go ikemishe tsa go tlogela bana ba bona gore ba dire diphosho. Ba rupotse gore ba ka tlhatlha bana ba bona gore ba ithute go diphosho tsa bona. Nete fa tsa gore ba tswadi ba tseba gore go se khwemato ke bogoni bya botlhokwa le gore bana ba tsweletsa bogoni bio ka go rarolla mathata ka bo bona. ke na gana bialo ke na gana gore go shumisha dikanagelo ke mogomo botse wa go ruta bana mareo ba bona gore ba nego ba dira eng e bile ba ithuta go diphosho le dikatlogo tsa banego go bolela tsheresho ga senke ke go pole ka sekudu pile e opja ke be ke shomang le ba ithuti ba mmalwa e bile ba laetsa ka ona ga falo e kgolo mo gwa wo wa go fa mishongwana e menyenyane ye o ba ka e khona go ba nnoshe le go laetsa katlego ya bona go tloga go shoma ile ruri go na le ngwana yo asa asa ka go a bolela lentjo le tee e opja byale o thomile go ka ona fala le o phuthologa na gana gore go ba thusha go sana le bana ba o ba hommo tjego e upja ba bangwe ba shetse ba gona go bolela ka maikutlo a bona ke na le moithuti wa ile go ampotsa gore o nyamishitsho ke ba lapa la gabo ka go bane ba be ba sanya ke go mothietsa ge a bala 
Let's recap the main points we have covered. Resilience is the process of adapting well to challenges and how well we bounce back and grow from difficult experiences. Resilient people adapt flexibly to hardships, challenges, trauma and stress. Build strong social networks, manage stress and express their emotions appropriately, orientate to a meaning or purpose and persevere through challenges but ask for help when needed. It is important to help young learners to develop resilience because we all experience hardships in life. We can start to prepare learners from an early age and if they can work through one problem alone, they have the capacity to do this again. In the classroom, teachers can help young learners by teaching relevant concepts and vocabulary, reading stories that build an understanding of the competency, building skills that help develop resilience, and modeling resilient behavior for learners.